Hey guys, I'm so excited to film today because I did not think I'd have an opportunity to film, but Everett is going to a train show and I have some things to share with you. I want to tell you about my trip and just some random things I'm just going to add in here. So you guys know I just got back from New Orleans and if you haven't been, it's amazing. I had the time of my life. I had no idea how much I would love it. And I can't believe I waited until this point in my life to go. Um, you know, I think of New Orleans as kind of like a party city, someplace I wish I'd gone to in college. Um, you know, and I will say Bourbon Street is like a frat boy heaven. A lot of debauchery is going on on Bourbon Street. But there's so much more the city has to offer. Um, I am so lucky I had lots of subscribers comment and um, let me know about the things that I should definitely check out, especially Erin Ellis, who, man, she really made my trip because all of the details she gave me, restaurants to check out, places to see, um, it really made my trip so much more exciting. And I'm so lucky to have, you know, YouTube to put me in contact with these people, right? So I, you know, thought it was kind of just like a place to go get drunk, but it was pretty romantic weekend just for my husband and myself. Sometimes we have trouble finding places to go that we both would enjoy, but I enjoyed shopping. We went to Frenchman Street and there was live music everywhere, free to get into. So you just walk around and, until you hear something you like and then you go in that um that bar and they serve food inside so I got some of the best fish tacos ever and I didn't even feel sketchy eating fish tacos at a bar because it was uh, it was amazing um, I'll insert some pictures of some of the different foods we tried I love the gumbo um, the beignets are famous and they're not like super sweet I don't know and plus you're walking around all day so you're famished by the time you eat and you don't feel bad for like maybe eating a few extra calories um, but the whole reason we went and this is funny so my husband loves these twins that are on the show called Total Divas thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about they're like professional wrestlers I used to like them until I fi figured out how much he liked them but anyway so he really wanted to see them and the closest place we could go was this New Orleans thing so he got tickets like six months ago we got there and the night before we realized they're actually it's not just like Bella Twins meet and greet it was <laughs> Wizard Con so if you've know what a comic con is it's people go and they dress up and they have really cool makeup on and so I didn't even have a ticket but I just wanted to go walk around and see um, outside like see everyone's costumes and things um, so I went with him dropped him off so he could go stand in line to meet the Bella twins and I went shopping so we both had a great time oh I forgot to tell you the most exciting part when we got off the plane oh, so cool like stuff like this never happens in North Carolina uh, got off the plane they're filming a movie called daddy's home and I look up and there's Marky Mark no joke oh he is like this tall like shorter than me and all hair and he had his little makeup artist like fixing him up and then they did this scene in the airport where they like went down the escalator and everyone's walking around and stuff and you can't take pictures because there's like tons of security there and the guy was like I bet you don't even know who that is this policeman and I was like yeah it's Marky Mark and he was like no it's Mark Wahlberg and I was like it's the same guy come on and Will Ferrell was there and he's like super tall and it was just the coolest thing ever. I could have stand, stood there all night just with my mouth open, just like staring at them. Um, yeah, it was a great, great trip. But you're here to talk about the makeup and or to hear about the makeup. And one thing that I brought on my trip that I am so glad I brought, if you're ever flying somewhere, you don't want to carry um, exfoliants. You don't want to carry lotions. Um, facial cleansers. You don't want to carry a lot of um, eye makeup remover. This is like three-in-one product right here. They're from Olay. They're these facial cleansing cloths. They just look like this. Just, you know, if you're there for three days, take three because this entire thing right here will get off every piece of makeup 
that has ever been on your face. Um, they are very intense, but I love them. So you just run them under the faucet when you get to your hotel and you know scrunch them like this and they start to suds up and you can get off waterproof mascara, just anything you have on your face, all with this little cloth, just throw it away and there you go. Also brought my chocolate bar palette. I love this thing for traveling because it's like indestructible plus it's got so many beautiful shades it's got some pops of color in there in case you want to do that but um, I just love it it's got you know the matte white for your brow bone highlight it's got the shimmery one for inner corner and plenty of transition shades dark shades I don't know you guys have heard about this one I'm not getting the semi sweet palette because I have not hit pan on this one so no and I'm trying very hard not to buy any more eyeshadow in the year 2015 I'm going on record now 2015 no eyeshadows because I don't need any more eyeshadows ever in my entire life probably but palettes just always draw me in and they always yell at me come by me two things I picked up on my trip one I am going to return and there's a few other things I picked up too but I didn't I wanted to try them out before I told you about them the first one is this hourglass blush in the color mood exposure now I have the ambient lighting pat palette the three powders and honestly I just I use it, but I'm not like as blown away by it as everyone else. So I kind of stayed away from these blushes, but I was able to swatch one in the stores and I thought this is a kind of neutral pink shade. I think it would be really great on fair skin. Um, let me try it out. Well, I'll tell you, I'm taking it back <laughs> because I love it so much. I'm getting the whole palette. Um, I went and looked at the three, the ambient lighting blush palette, and it has this color in it. You can't get it from Sephora. I had to get it from hourglass.com, and um, I will let you know how I think about that. But this, I don't even need to tell you. You've heard it a thousand times. It feels like no other blush I've ever put on. It's so easy to like overdo a lot of the blushes that I have. They're really pigmented and I hate the look of like super dark blush um, or just, you know, too much. I like it to kind of fade out around the edges. And this one does that so effortlessly. Oh, it's amazing. Just watch it in the store. And this other one was a super great deal. It was a pack like this and it's from the Tease Me. Um, I don't know, Fifty Shades of Grey line that Makeup Forever just came out with. I really loved this um, lip liner in 3C that I got a while back as a 100 point perk. Not this one, but it was like the same color. Um, and it was the perfect nude for me, matched wonderfully, and I wanted to get the full size. Well, I also wanted to try these Aqua Rouge things. And these are this price like alone but this entire kit was this price so I thought what a great deal so I get the aqua rouge and I have it on today it's a little bit more purpley brown than I thought it was gonna be but the formula is so awesome on this and it lasts all night and when it fades off you can't even really tell um, but it does make a statement when it's on I don't know it's one of those magic products that it also came with this gloss which just seems to be like a universal nude color gloss and um, I think this is an amazing deal I found it at my Sephora I'm not sure if it's online if so I will link it below um, but I thought that was a great deal and also I'm not making a video on my ipsy bag this month because I just didn't want to I included a picture on Instagram, but one of the things that I was so excited to share with you, I got a Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. I have never been able to find Jouer in stores. Um, so I'm so excited to try this brand and I did not expect much out of January Ipsy because January Ipsy is usually like facial stuff and like lotions and I don't know. Um, nail polishes and stuff I don't really like but super excited to try this especially since my lips are trapped from winter time yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this I don't even know what I'm gonna title this because it's a bunch of random stuff but um yeah I'll see you guys next time Bye.